Hello YouTube, it is Zeph here, and I am here to, as you may have guessed by the title, show you all the skills in this game. Well, not all of them, just the ones I have unlocked so far. I'm using Mila because she is the one that I at least know most of the skills for. Uh, most of the skills in this game um, are like these parameter ones, which are in the very beginning, and they have two or three forms. So for Mila, uh, this one is strength, so it increases your physical attack by 5%. Next one, this one, is stamina. This will increase your f physical defense by 5%. Next comes agility. Whoa, jumped ahead of myself. Okay, agility increases your, well, agility by 5%. Now, these twos will increase your um, stat, so like strength, or stamina, or agility, by an additional 10%, so for an overall increase of 15%. This doesn't affect um, increases by your equipment. Next comes intelligence. So this has three different forms, so if you were to equip this, you'd get a pl all three of these, you get a plus 30 increase, plus 30 percent increase in your magic attack. Next comes mind, Mind increases your magical defense by 5%. There is a mind too, but I don't have it unlocked. Vitality, or vi vitality, is down here. It increases your HP by 5%. There is a vitality too. I don't have it unlocked. Same with, oh, I have spirits 2 unlocked here, but I don't have spirits 1 unlocked, which is odd. Nope, that's vitality too. Oh, these are the spirit skill. Sorry, I messed myself up here. Okay, this is the dexterity. Uh, well, as close as I can figure it out, that's dexterity. But I don't actually know what the dexterity skill actually does. Because all of these other ones describe every other parameter. But there must be another one which describes dexterity. I just can't figure it out. So... If you go through the ones that I've listed so far, agility, physical attack, physical defense, uh, magic attack, magic defense, and you look for whatever, um, health, spirits, or health, technical points, you should be able to figure out what this is. I personally do not know. Yeah. The, oh, this is intelligence, isn't it? Okay, so these are the exceed skills exceed increases your max ac by one so exceed this will increase your ac by one this will increase it by another one and another one next one we get into the gado uh, gado skills or the guard skills first one is well guard well guard will increase your um f will reduce the amount of damage you take from guarding by 50% this does not include Magic Guard. The next one is Earth Guard. And this will reduce, well, increase your resistance to Earth Elemental Damage, or reduce Earth Elemental Damage by 30%. So, fairly useful, and since these are so cheap, uh, you might as well equip them once you get them. Next is Aqua Guard, or Water Guard. This increases your resistance to water by 30%. Same with uh, you might be able to guess with Wind Guard, same with Light Guard, and Dark Guard. Now, I do not know why, but I do not have Fire Guard yet, which is confusing me because I know it exists, but I don't have it here. But there is a Fire Guard. It starts with the same character as... Oh dear, it looks like I don't have another one that's another skill that starts with Fa. Uh, so, for the Fire Guard, it looks like, well, it'll be whatever is in here. This character, the very first one here, without the line over top of the first character. Uh, next comes the Life Up, Raifu Apu. Now there's a 1% chance to increase your HP by 2%, or as it says, well, that's what it says in the fact, but down here it says 2% for 2% increase. 
sorry, my mistake. And 1% for a 1% increase, and this is the mental up. This is happy now. What? I, image training. This must be image training. Image training you get from uh, one of the books. This will give you bonus experience when you're not in the active party. This is also known as experience share. And this is many, many link. And this will increase the experience received based on by how many links are made during a single battle. So if you spend the D-pad in every direction possible, you'll get more experience. As far as I know. Now these are action skills. So skills that actually allow you to do things. First one, Magic Guard. Pretty useful for guarding against, well, magic. So hit square and um, down on the down with your left stick and you will be guarding against magic cards. Now we go to stepper. This one makes it so it does not consume any C AC, I mean, sorry, to consecutively backstep. So you can continuously backstep without it costing you any CC, because normally it does. Combo Mental Supply. Recovers TP by 1% every, after every 9 hits in a combo. So if you hit an enemy 9 times, you get 1% TP back. Splendor Assault. Splendor Assault. Yep. Increases AC by 3 upon evading a grounded melee attack. So if you get... Um, if an enemy tries to hit you and you barely backstep out of the way or backstep with great timing, you will get an extra 3 AC. Moving Assault. When, at while, when attacking hol while holding down R1, or L1, sorry, you will move around the enemy slightly. So you'll move about 3 feet around the enemy as you strike. So this allows you to strike while moving around the enemy. So you're able to basically keep on circling around the enemy. I don't know the practical use for this, but it's available. Next is Flash Gadu. Yeah, Flash Gadu. Uh, decreases damage received by 90% upon guarding an attack with good timing. So this will further decrease the amount of damage you take on top of well guard by 90%. So you're actually taking... 90% um, of half damage. So that's quite a bit off. So if you guard with nice motion, you will in be incredibly um, well protected. You will take nearly no damage. Well, that's relative. If you're attacking a really, really, really strong enemy, you're probably still going to take damage. Next one here is HP Drain Guard. Covers 25% of max HP upon performing a successful flash guard. So if you perform a flash guard, not only does your damage get the damage to you get resist, um, reduced by a massive amount, you also gain HP by 25%. Yeah, crazy. Next comes Slide Link Arts. Allows Link Arts to activate at the start of a spell rather than at the end of its animation. So normally, when you're doing a Link Art, you have to wait for the art to be casted, then you're able to use your Link Art. With this, when you first start casting, you actually begin, you're actually able to use a Link Art. Next one, Aerial Force. This increases the damage dealt to enemies who are flying in the air by 10%. So if they're either forced into the air by an attack, or if they're in the air on their own, it'll increase damage by 10%. Aerial Guard, this allows... Oh, wait, no, this isn't Aerial Guard. Where am I looking? Aerial Jump. This is Aerial Jump. Sorry, I am I'm going insane. You'll notice this every once in a while. I just start going crazy off in random directions. But this is Aerial Jump. Sorry. This allows you to do a second jump after jumping into the air. So, jump in the air, and you're able to jump into the air again. Also known as double jump. There's an aerial jump too, but it's available on the very last node ring of the Rurial Orb 2. So, I don't have it yet, but it basically allows a triple jump.